yes. I think we better start recording this one too. Just in case. I'm running, um, no. I'm running the earth from all the From the other side. Actually, just got my wool authenticator and was using entirely scrap.tf. Someone tried to trade for me, but I immediately, but I noticed that they were probably scam. I, you know, didn't want to get scammed, so I took my risk. Wait, is that an actual person or some video or something? I can't tell. <laughs> Sounds like a person with a poor quality microphone. Oh. Bra. Wait, that's weird. We dropped like through the elevator. Whoa, you touch the UFOs and you die. Yeah. Uh, Good job, cowboy. Yeah, it says warning, do not touch. <laughs> Apparently. <they laughs> well, yeah, but that's that's already painted on there, you know. Obviously that was painted before they decided to stash the UFOs in the ceiling. Bye then. It's a nice overlay though. Feels like you're going through lots of different maps. I I I really I really score me. Say again. I think he said something about Just the thing is Oh, why are you? Will destroy you? Just let your weapons die and walk away. That spy ain't one of us. That spy ain't one of us. That spy ain't one of us. One day I'm going to get a high five, Taunt. That day is probably gonna be today, knowing how much my life has changed this day. Oh, please. Why has your life changed? Uh, it's the first day I got my uh, mobile authenticator. I mean, like, first day that I'm able to use my mobile authenticator. So you weren't able to. Does that to mean use you can trade now? I've tried to use it many times. Actually, that's how I got the your turn. I mean, the Fez, the your internal reward by Scrap.tf. You are excited about oh. this new thing. I, I'm really excited about it. It lets me get new weapons if I just happen to like find many via the drop system. I can trade them out for scrap and then get new ones. It's really amazing to say the least. I guess. Glad to hear you're uh, excited about it. Mm, and the, uh, well, Sorry? it's kind of nice to be able to trade in other weapons for other weapons. Weapon surprise! It's been such a long time since I, uh... Well, it's been such a long time that I don't even know what it's like these days in Team Fortress 2 for new players. Wait, people without no uh, the ability to trade. <laughs> well, so. I've been around here for a while, to say the least, but I haven't been, got the mobile authenticator. That's when I got it. I just got it now. Let us play. Let us so that means, you know, I'm finally being able to trade. Let us play. Over here. I see. So that means, and since, you know, I really don't like to spend money I, on this game, I'm, I prefer to, it's kind of cool being able to use Scrap.tf to get weapons. Stop saying that. Mm. I think there should be some... And you know, the whole 15 day verification. 
And the whole mobile authenticator 15 day trade ban thingamajig. I mean, 15 day trade whole thingamajig is really off putting to other traders. Um, actually. Actually, I've managed to queue for casual, um. A lot of times, without ever experiencing a cat bot. I mean, I don't even play casual. Are they actually? I really... Are they actually? Either that or I don't mind it. Either that or I really don't mind it. To be honest. I mean, nowadays, uh, I only play TF2 for the map. And that started like, what, 4,000 hours ago? I don't even play TF2 these days. So let's do uh, the map named after you. Or the map you were named after. <laughs> that is my map. You got blood. I'm getting my own But we're here to test this new map, so we can't. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, to like, uh, uh, yeah that's a glitch. That's a glitch. That's a glitch, I think. Yeah, it might be because some sometimes you get stuck into the, like, crate material, whatever up here is. Well, he'll see, he'll see this video, so he can, I don't know. Decide for himself. Sorry, I didn't resist. <laughs> it worked, at least it worked. That's an unbeatable trap, I think. I agree. It's a bit also, I do you happen to avoid many traps, but I don't think that's one of them. Along with the punch crap, I think. You also know that I can do this thing. Uh, like, repeat. Play ball. Toad had the same problem when he first joined and oh, he was yeah. spectating the credits image. He heard the. I started out spectating with you. So it starts like when you spectate. That's the cause, maybe? I start the game as a spectator and then I think I have to go to Red or when I die as a spectator, I think. When I joined, I don't know. explain today. Ex uh, explain the issue. To you. No. Also, some weapons don't have taunts assigned to them. When I joined the map, I immediately began to spectate the credits image as you do normally, and I heard the um. Um, upgrade station music. And then when I loaded into the map. I could hit two sets of upgrade station music, and the upgrade station music was just continuous, never ending. So I presume <laughs> there's something to do with that spectator camera area Wait, so how is uh, that plays music. Is it, uh, it's not a soundscape, he said it's himself. So well, the question is is the music a looping WAV file in the game, in the TF2 files? Uh, true, it might be. Uh, if you like have a dictionary without the uh, loop, uh, it might be. Oh, laser! Laser! I did not see those lasers coming! Well, uh, and it's also play everywhere as well. Oh, it is. Uh, so it should be easy to track down. Uh, oh, yeah. It so, yeah, if you're. Um, if you spawn in and then an ambient generic plays, you know. I think if you're not in an area when an ambient generic plays, the sound won't actually play for you. But I'm not so sure that's true, actually. I see. Some of the traps are almost like unavoidable. I've, s I've seen that. Yeah. Like you, you're just dead. Actually, can you remove this door one? Because I just 
I I removed this whole star. It was just too much hassle. That scout is a spy. I'm I'm smoking stuff right now. Smoking stuff. Seems so strange that you walk into an elevator and then you immediately teleport. I like this part actually. It feels really like I don't know. It makes the map feel solid. It's good. It is good. They're very, very good the way they've done that. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's not fine detail, but it, the it has a nice kind of chunkiness. Yeah, it feels and it's like, like a cartoon know. style. It's hard to explain. It somehow gives the map like volume. Like, I don't know. And also it's, this it's cobweb a, here, oh. it's good. Yeah, like little details like that. They also have uh, different colour lighting as well because the, the light fixtures here are different. Like it's colder colour. Nice. It's the daddy guy. I am now the spooky guy. You certainly are. Fight to the death. Everyone, do not go in the elevator. <laughs> All right. Oh. Why not? Why you turn me down? Oh, you guys went in the elevator. That's now activated. If you didn't go in the elevator for a long amount of time, I would have made it done. We didn't go in the elevator early on and it, it didn't say anything. We were able to just stand here. It was great. Okay, cool. Thank you. But someone else did, and that's, you know, so. Best one day. Lol. Yeah, that's a bug. That, that's definitely one. Yeah, that's definitely a bug, I could say. Well, at least he's getting. I think the. This. I obviously uh, was at the end when the trigger push was enabled, so my um, collision mesh or collision hull prevented me from getting sucked in. Yeah, he, he could It's fine. Okay, that's I so was bad. just lucky. Uh, There's no point. This one doesn't oh, yeah. have any bugs, I think. I just avoided the trap Anyways, down square. Like you did try. I mean, you got stuck like in a weird way. It it looked really like buggy. It's probably yeah, it because the funny. trigger push. It's probably because it's um, a very yeah, you know, fast, <laughs> a very fast trigger push. So it's pulling me extremely quickly. You unlock oh. this door with the key of imagination. Probably. Beyond it is another dimension. Probably using something like ten thousand. <laughs> dimension of sight. Go in through the gate. That's what you're supposed to do. You're moving into a land of. <laughs> I. Whoa! You died. I see he's using like uh he used just like a lonely died like a uh, colored sprite <laughs> having five named lights in one place <laughs> No Okay uh, I killed someone else Begin but it's, it's, it, the map's pretty good. He's using cube maps and sh stuff like that. I yeah, I saw that on a kettle at the start. Yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail. Like, <laughs> even with the lasers, the ends have like those small black boxes and things. Okay, continue on. I'm going to do not. As, um, one of the traps did not activate. Uh, there was a button, but did not activate. Is it the 50 50 one? Oh, so it's 50-50 whether it activates? Or whatever, or what, what, the prize? what trap are you talking about currently? Okay, I'm sorry. Never, never mind. Never mind. You don't need to apologize. It's a bit weird that the elevator floor like 
disappears. It's a bit like, I don't know, strange. Dwarf! Maybe, maybe there was supposed to be some projectiles there. I mean, particles. You would think that the elevator would like, work like the first one, but no. Fine, so you are also to drop down. You f fall through the floor, and then you land in another elevator. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, that's a bug. They could have made that like an elevator shaft thing. And maybe make it so like there's some glass panels. Or maybe an invisible floor. I don't know. It's a bit or weird, just, uh... Or normally you uh, don't have more than one elevator cabin or car in the same shaft. Unless you uh, have a, a really weird tall building. Oh no! Wait, I can do the yeah. one. Woo! Exploit the weakness. Yes, that's a bug. I would say that's a bug. Yeah, Berg showed me. Is it a bug or is it just something which you can get away with if you're clever? No, Willy himself said that. Either, either one. How did you do that? He was, he was surprised about it. He's obviously not played Aconian enough. Yeah. Well, he's definitely like... Like, I don't know. Maybe it's something he... Wait, this is amazing. He has the, like... The wood thing. And the... The white stuff. At the like plasterboard. You like yeah, that's why I was gonna need to be disabled if there's like a l one player left, because that could lead to some interesting things when there's one player left, because it really can be baited if you don't know what's coming. I was right, the logo let her go so long, but it, it's a purpose. Five, four, three, two, one! Fight! That's a oh wow, it's the bugs with heads, this map is amazing. Eat my dust! The R is not fallen off, is it using a logic case? I was spectating it, it was falling off for some reason. Like before the round started. Get to the elevator. That's interesting. I have no idea how he actually did it. Well, it must be um, a physics prop which has been woken up by a logic case. Uh, I'm stuck last... here now. I'm stuck in the start of oh, drowning death. Yeah, I think if you don't... Remember the first time we you like tested the map and um, on some rounds it would just... You would just drown in neurotoxin straight away before the round even started. Right. Do you remember that? Yes. What it was like the AFK killer was active from the very start of some rounds. I think he managed to fix it. Because Certainly seems to have fixed it. I was just wondering why it would work on some rounds and not on others. Well, you could ask, you could ask him how he fixed it. That might, I don't know, solve something. It just suggests that they, they were either using something that randomizes it or uh, they're using env global. Oh, true. Because it would typically follow a around you know does this map actually use end global you would have expected especially the only way to like find out is to i wouldn't expect that either but if you dump globals or even just use svd dump edits on uh tmux then you should be able to find out uh yeah well i'll do that when i I'll see for with my own. Actually, I have to do it while I'm still in this map, so. Well, this was a disappointment. <laughs> it's not important. Bonus ducks. Bonus. So it's a bit weird that the floor like boobies disappears like that. Yes, it is weird, and it's concrete as well. I think there should be some kind of like glowing indicator that oh, it's it's dangerous or something. Isn't there like a TF glow entity that makes any model like have a, like an outline, like players do? 
there is. Why would you need to make make it dangerous though? It's just supposed to be a surprise, unless you're talking about the UFOs. The UFO, like they drop down and then they like kill you for no apparent reason, but you could like I don't know. Well, make it you more could obvious, just not have it. them kill you. But then again, I think the map maker wants them to kill Move. you because there is that text even on the wall that says, "Do not touch." Dangerous. I suppose so, it just makes no sense. Like, what's the harm in letting people jump over the top of them? Maybe they are radioactive or they have some kind of... Well, they're, uh, I don't know. Radioactivity really wouldn't kill you that quickly. Uh, electrocution perhaps, but... Also, if you notice on this uh, moving wall here, there's actually a cutout on the wall for the light model. Oh, there is. You can see that, yeah. It, it's very like... Uh, and the wall is... Uh, Push back slightly. Almost like the um, the map maker has designed it to look like it, it could be movable. Also note that the, uh, the shadow on that door looks rather strange, almost as if it's um, the light entity in, he in here is, used, is in a strange place, like inside the pro prop. Uh, the light prop is probably not. It's probably solid. True. Or using, what is it called? Self shadowing. I can't remember. No bollocks. I'm talking out my arse. Doesn't appear to be solid. But no, I have Static failed. prop hollies. I think it's a bug that you can get stuck in the great material when you when the uh, uh, train comes. Well, when it's a funk brush, isn't it? Yeah, so it doesn't like. I would do something fancy, like push the player, maybe inside or something, and then enable the brush. What's the point? I don't know. It looks weird when you get stuck. I mean, it's weird that a fence magically appears in front of you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but it's weirder than you, that, you, that you can get stuck in it. It's not that weird, really. I mean, people are used to it in this game. <laughs> well, I don't I call it being funk brushed. Medic. It just seems like too much... To, too, well, unnecessary things to worry about. The trap itself makes no sense anyway, because trains don't immediately start moving at 100 miles per hour. But whatever. Or maybe the like train like coming sound, so the bell thing should, like launch before I'm going the to train comes. Like a Cornish game hen. That would be like a like a two second indication or short or something like that. Perhaps. Like, it comes instant, you have no time to react, you can't even, like, predict or... You could just not have the train at all, you and then when you get trapped, the train would come through. I like that there's yellow things on the floor here, Ooh. which serve as trap hazard boundaries, or sorry, trap boundaries. Look at this hole again. There's like a there's there's even a crack on the corner. Like that's pretty nice. Like if you go into the this side. Yeah. Like wow. <laughs> Why am to I know what they're impressed doing. by this hole? <laughs> like this hole is like the best thing. Yet. Just lay your weapons down to the left! He's good at it. I'm really... I'm really, uh... Impressed and... The potential is there, you know? Yeah. You do seem kind of tired, actually. I've been working today. Nice. I didn't sleep very well last night. I mean, if you, if you look at this trap... I'm gonna activate it. You can see that they're like moving 
stars. Like, I'm still amazed by this. Like, if you move around... I don't think they're moving. I mean, they're not moving, but they're like in 3D space. Instead of inside the text. Yeah, they're dust motes, probably. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, stars don't work like that. <laughs> well done. It looks stars cool, don't work like that because they should be so far away that when you move, they won't. It does look cool though. It's like a fake star field. Come on, you're you failed! Like, this is realistic. Previous <laughs> time, like, okay, it should be like this. Which one well, is it? Is I it I try to do is things realistically realistic myself, but like mission begins in ten seconds. You have to make it in mind. You can't have both. Five, four. I'm not so sure. Two, I, yeah, as you know, I like to have. Uh, realism in my maps, I like to have a good reason for everything, like Steamworks Extreme. Oh. You know, if you see something moving, it's not magic, it's a machine. Right, right. But, when I see maps like this, I can't really complain too much. It's really up to the author what they want to do, and I don't think the majority of people playing Death Run are going to give a shit how something gets there. Exactly. I mean, I Office the is still thing is popular. That it looks good. It just like fits. That's the main thing. Really. It does. That's. I think that is also the main thing. And some of the the traps are very interesting. We just need to help them tune them a bit. Yeah, yeah. There are some of them are just like, yeah, like, you can die so fast. Yeah. This. I mean, this kind of the traps we have here. They are very simple. You know, you just walk into an area. You get trapped, you die, and um, Vivo I think will. Uh, is okay though, because you can like you can jump like like here or like in the middle. You could you could jump from the middle part. Like the you can, middle, but yeah. it's still the same as every other basic yeah, even map. Though it's you know, instant, you have like some kind of control. You could jump back. Ah! Like, yeah, because it's a disappearing floor. And that might be why it's, it's wider, but still. This is That's like the this only thing. gameplay you have is, as Corona puts it, baiting the activator. Yeah. Is there any, like, parkour? Parts? It's like... I don't actually... Remember. Posh shit is what it is. It's gold, it's gold quality shit. Medic! High quality shit. Oh no, I've been trapped for some reason. Wait, what? I think that's a trap actually. Promise not to bleed on my suit and I'll so you can, like, get like very, uh, here very narrow something. trap. <laughs> yeah, you, it's pretty hard to kill someone. But there should be like a announcement. I guess you have been killed by the easiest. There's trap. lots of there's lots of players squeezing through here. It's probably easier to kill people. But is it though? Because there's no collision. So you can just like run. Th maybe there's like, maybe if there's like a line of players. Maybe then. Well, there is collision. The, the thing's um, pushed outwards, and I couldn't get through. So I'm guessing it's got blocking damage. Oh, I see. Isn't like an example of a, a cheap trap that's very small, and probably you're not likely to get hit by it. But if you forget about it, you know, it'll be your own doing. I think this is the like uh, only parkour bit. With a surprise! Let's settle this like gentlemen. I guess you could die there. Or could you? Because if the platform wizard surprise. If you if the platform reaches the other side with the wizard surprise, would it just like would it would it the platform itself just save you? Like here, like if you jump, you would just fall back to the platform. Shall we? You need 64 units of, of distance between the wall and the platform yeah, to be able to there. fall. Yes. Oh, there is. Wow. Thanks for demonstrating. More like 80 or 72 units. Right. Oh, you said it was right! Ah! Too, too soon. Too late, sorry. I like that use of voice commands. Imagine that some servers have like, if you, like, 
Like with free run, if you say you do free run and you don't Five, do it, you can get four, three, three like, two, that's absurd. Yeah. One. Begin. You lies. Exactly. Get it banned from lying. Watch that. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think he said something about I don't know. He needed to go. Could not make out his mic microphone phone. He seemed very excited to get a mobile authenticator so he could trade weapons. It's cute. I mean, I remember when I got my first mobile thing. That was pretty awesome. Your first mobile thing? Yeah, like, I think it was like seven years ago. Like, I think that was when... Is it one of these little key things? No, it's those... The mobile authenticate. Okay. I think it's like on a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. I see. You're talking about the Steam map. Then. Yeah, yeah. That, it's pretty old if you think about it. Yeah, it is pretty old. That was pretty and awesome. rarely updated. It doesn't need to do doesn't even notify you now when you're trying to do two-factor authentication. Oh, it doesn't? I haven't used it in that long. No, used to. Interesting. I guess it's so, like, common that it's it's just annoying, you know? Ha! You didn't Damn get it. me. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it. Was, I was like, is he gonna do it? Of course he is. You can trust me, R60D. Never! I got wizard surprised. Oh, and there's a. Oh, you did. There's a hurt there, and I remember really actually yeah. telling me that. That's good. I mean, he could use a trigger teleport relative. Yeah. Whatever. The only bug that I don't think you saw was that you can use use on the platform itself and drive it to the other side so that nobody Doctor! can. Like, go forward. Nice. So it's a funk track train. <laughs> yeah, so you can just like use it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, most. Like. That's that's like own the. Uh, <laughs> game breaking bug. The other Five, ones are just like. Four, three, two. Maybe like trap fairness? Fight! That water. Let's waste them! Water. Where? In the ceiling, or in the pipe. Up here, there's like a water material. Wait, there's water. Oh, it is water. That's weird. Huh. I don't think that's how water works, though. No, <laughs> that's not how water works. <laughs> or maybe this is some kind of like glass thing, like, you know? Like a reinforced glass. Possibly, yeah. I think like... But it makes no sense yeah, why. It unless it's designed sense. to flush you or something. Oh, that would be so like have we entered here? Enter the building and then immediately leave, leave it using your elevator. Oh wow, there, there's been some serious optimization behind the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Like he even like moved, like made the wall that's not seen. He made it no draw. But the other side of the wall is like visible and it's reflecting like a light to simulate like a long hallway. That's pretty interesting. You would have to see it yourself to be honest, because I suck at explaining, but that is in impressive. I mean it <laughs> the one thing I could say about this map it's it's clearly not a low effort map. 
like those that you see that are maybe about like one hour or something. Yes. After you. <clears throat> oh, the pigeons. What's that on that? Really. Pigeons. They're like cardboard. Uh, yes. <laughs> cardboard oh. cutouts of pigeons. Nice. That's pretty good. Oh, you can actually climb. What? I wonder if there are any like secrets. I, I, there probably are. I just haven't found any. They must have clipped the tree then. Or weird. Uh, I wish you could somehow see. I'm stuck in the tree. Like you could see triggers. You can. Oh, it's the wire. This is not as good. Gentlemen. Yeah, I think I remember. Oh, that. draw clip brushes. Gentlemen. Like if you know clip here, you can see the same thing that I was talking about. I've enabled cheats if you use the command R underscore draw clip brushes okay. and you can switch on clips and stuff. I can see and there's nothing. What? How, so how if is you, it? Yeah, you have to put one. I'll draw clip brushes. Yeah, I one. see the clips, but I don't see the ones around the tree. Is it just a model collision? It must be. Yeah, it's probably just model collision. That's weird. You could even say Number that this two. is like boon boon levels of detail. It's, it's Number two actually makes the close. clip brushes solid. Oh wow. Talk about oh, ah, ah. Yeah. Oh, ah, ah. I mean he oh, does have tons ah, of clipping ah. on these like stairs. Oh, ah, ah. I mean these like steps or whatever. So he clearly knows that clipping is important. I just enabled wireframe. Did it enable it for you as well? No. It seems to be client or... Fair like enough. It. Yeah, if you put Matt wireframe 2 or 3. I see. Probably 3 is best to use actually. It's All good right. for seeing what's being rendered. Oh, true, true. You can see that. Oh, I wish there was some like you know, like you can you couldn't see the other side of this corrid corridor thing, but you can. Like it renders. What a shame. I don't understand what you mean. Like you can see if if you like go behind this wall, it like renders the trucks and cars and stuff. But I realized that it won't, of course it wouldn't work because this is like invisible. So it wouldn't like... Transparent, yeah. Yeah. So it wouldn't... Or well, doesn't block this. Yeah, it doesn't block, yeah, that's exactly. I mean, you could in theory well, you do could something like making a, I don't know actually. Could you use no draw? Would that even work? No draw uh, will actually cull everything. It w yeah, it would so seal it basically. So not even the activator would see here. Yeah. Oh, it would. You would just see the void. Yeah, but you might be able to use occluders. Um, occluders can be used to hide models and shit, but they might also hide the players, so it's a bit pointless. There's no sense in like not rendering trucks and stuff from that side anyway, really. Yeah, so it it would have been a small optimization. There are only like what five ve vehicles. But 
some. some yeah, as long some. as you stand on the. Uh, oh, as long as you stand on the post, you should be alright. So you somehow got stuck in the tree. That's interesting. It must be the collision of the tree. Then. Yeah, it will be. Oh wow, using funk detail here. Smart, smart. Ready? Oh, right, yeah. There's no, like, I, I have this, this clusters enabled. And I don't see any cutting. It looks like they've used uh, carve rather than the arch tool to make this. Oh, it is carve. Now that I look at it, the, that pattern is undeniably carve. Willie, if you're listening... No, I think we should do. Use... C c uh, what was the tool again? It's arch. Use arch. You can do the same shapes, but with like... Less probability of causing micro brushes or invalid brushes. Shall we? So please. It's the the use. block tool, the brush tool, but you choose the prefab as arch. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was trying to explain. Well, anyways, let's go forward and check check it out. Who lives in a map like this? I think what we should do is we should have like um, whenever we spot something. Like, oh, this person's used carve instead of arch tool. We should write it down, and then we should always we should make like a list right. with a brief description of of things. And then if any, anybody we test maps in future, then we can just say uh, see the uh, the common points manual for carving and fizz leaves and plus use and things like that, you know, right, right. and then like, uh, they go and read those sections. Yeah, so they can see, like, what to do next time instead of using cars. Fire! 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 Situation oh, ah, really ah, ah, supposed to be. Oh, ah, ah. How are you being set on fire? The lasers, like, burn you, but I have boot ah, ah, ah. die immediately. There's, there's, like, yeah. there's a tiny, like... Trigger. I only noticed now. Um, I thought when you set people on fire, you can't. So it must be a oh, a trigger a... ignite, trigger ignite, or something. I mean, I thought that was broken. Yeah, like you could only ignite for like microsecond, and then it would. Yeah, like if you send players the, not to my knowledge. Probably a trigger ignites. But wasn't that previously broken? Yeah, it was. It stopped working, as you say. Right. But oh, that looks weird. Hurt trigger. Hurt trigger? Wait, that looks actually... See the material? <laughs> Wait, what's happening here? It's stretched. The trigger is like... Strangely strange. Yeah, but read it. Oh, that's strange. There's actual, there's actual, like... Huh. Uh, it says hurt trigger. Does the hurt trigger have any special properties? Like some text. It's probably just a modified... Probably just a modified trigger to texture. They're probably using the custom trigger texture. I see. Oh no! Ding! <laughs> and you can see that uh, stuff got unrendered, so that's good. Uh, no, that you can still see stuff. So, some this of is not this as much. Stuff got, yeah, not all of it. You could use like a hint brush here or something. There's like a really big. It's still rendering up until the uh, the the weird dodgy wall in the vortex area. If you stand oh, here, it is. Somewhere. Yeah, it it changes depending on. Where you are. Yeah, you could do some optimizations there. But I, is it that big of a deal? It's it's not causing any problems for me, but it could. I uh, I would I used to say no. If Vizleaves take care of 
visibility optimization for you then you shouldn't have to worry about anything but these days I actually recommend the use of area portals after what I discovered in Steamworks Extreme. Ah, uh, I see. Wait, what Because was the um I went I went through the map with the net graph on and I measured network traffic. Because I use a lot of moving brushes in that map. Like um funk trap trains, funk doors and so on. Mit magyarázó! Um they count for network traffic, every frame of movement. Oh, well, that's weird. So, if you are in an area and you have multiple brushes moving, then you'll have all the network traffic of all the brushes moving combined. So it but if you use an area portal, oh then the area portal uh, actually functions, as the name suggests, in splitting the map into areas. So let's say I put an area portal uh, that that separates the the final area which is like the, pla the platform that moves well if you're in that area you don't see any network traffic at all from any of the other areas but if you go to the old areas then you do see network traffic from the adjacent or neighboring areas so I think what happens is um, the game uses spaces which are separated by area portals to determine whether or not you should receive network traffic from moving entities. I see. So, are you saying that, like, you don't recommend using area portals for that reason, or...? No, I do recommend using them, even if you think you don't need them. I th think it's a good idea to use area portals. Because yeah, so I used to say, oh, I don't have to use them because I just made hint brushes. And that was sort of true, but like I said, uh, when I did some testing to measure network traffic, the area portals actually had a, a positive effect. So they were still being rendered somehow, even there, but if they were like hint brushed correctly or hint, hinted, whatever you call it. Um, Area portal seems to have an effect of uh, reducing network traffic from moving entities in adjacent areas, whether they're rendered or not. Oh, so like moving things, they they do not get affected by hits. Just lay your weapons you down area and not. Yeah, that's that. I mean, the, the actual rendering seems to be fine. You know, they they don't render, yeah, but, they but still their position like, is yeah. still. Re their so position so is still communicated they, to your. Like, cease to exist when they're in, like in an area portal. Like they don't move or anything. No, they do, but the server just doesn't communicate that information to your clients because it's not needed. Oh, I see. Yeah. So otherwise it That's what network traffic is. But is it that big of a deal if like that information gets transmitted? Like would that cause any problems? Realistically, probably not, but you want to avoid any potential causes for problems. You don't want people down the line saying, oh, uh, we don't play your map on Sky All because there's lag in a certain area. What that really because of the stupid lag. things that they do. When I forgot about the spiral tool, oh, really. If you, if you hear this, uh, there's a tool in, like, the Discord. I think it was uh, resources or... Wait, what? What group was it in? I don't even remember. But anyways, there was this tool... It, it isn't the one that does displacements to yeah, make like a spiral just, corridor. It can do yeah, it was in Death Ventures. Twister. Yeah, Twister, that's the one. So that's you can it. like smoothly transition this twisting thing you're trying to do into like a trippy ass texture. You failed! <laughs> Why did we win? I think I reached the end. <laughs> Actually, I thought there was something at the end, but there was just victory. Five, four, uh, Vivo three, just uncovered two, a bug. One, <laughs> Fight! Let's, let's, let's fly it. <laughs> so where is this? I'll be back soon. Oh, you, you, you're all using console, metal clip. 
this would be cheats for testing purposes. So where the hell are we going? I don't know. Vivo said something about the bug, but I have no idea where this is. I also have a lot of music playing at once right now for me, so let me, let me just ask them to restart. Uh, I think it's a bug that has something to do with spectating while you're listening to some music. And then joining the game, that somehow fucks it up. Fucks it up. But anyways, I can see... Uh, where is the thing? Where is Vivo? Uh, I don't see him. I do not know where this stuck thing is. Well, I think it's around where I am. <coughs> yes, hello, Vivo. Well, anyways, uh, right, here I am, yeah. Wait, did you find the area or something? Yes, I did. Oh, I see. So oh, Stardust A3C, boggers. Oh, so you can get stuck here, what? I'm stuck. I'm probably gonna die. Nope. Yep, died. Oh, so like the... I, I guess what you're trying to say. The brush is stuck, but you suck. Higher, higher! So it's like a one unit yeah, out. It's like one unit to gap. Well, he'll see this, so. The amount I did that. He can decide if, he, if this is something worth. I mean, even my map. The amount that happens in multi run. This, this bar problem at certain points. Multi run does that. Because I wasn't sure. So I always have that one unit um, gap. Yeah, I, I do it because I I had the problem when I like made it the same size as the brush that it killed the players that were on the other side. So yeah, I think the gap's there for fire, fire, fire! Like oh, I have a command for that. I use it for in like when I do single player testing in my map. I just go into boot and spawn myself these so that I can test if ma if if traps work. Because sometimes it's I don't know it's not like that useful to have uh, group sessions when you have small bugs that you can like fix yourself. I noticed that it's way easier and way faster to just test it yourself if, if it's a small bug or something you you you, see, you yourself have noticed. Fire! 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 Like that's the reason why I haven't even tested my map because there are bugs and there are missing features that I've yet to implement. And once those are done, and I'm sure that there are no bugs, then we can go find some more fire, fire, with fire! other players. That's how you're supposed to do this testing, in my opinion. But anyways, I think we have uh, fire, fire, fire! most of the issues. Like, I don't think there are any more. <laughs> well, anyways, I have to work on this Corona's model before I go to sleep, so I'll, I'll work on that. Ah, oh, thank you. You're welcome to have a look at A3C as well. Oh come on, one second, you could wait you could have waited another second before you died. Oh okay. So we're just gonna I'll just uh, wait for someone else to do it then. Ooh, 